I was thinking as I drove into Upfield this morning, what a wonderful dream parish this must be for somebody. Um, I think everybody's ideal, so it's um, particularly good to see Father Brian here um, today and to say that if you want the job, it's yours. <laughs> um, well, this, this is a great occasion. I know that you know, a lot of work's gone into this and a lot of generosity um, from those you know, who have actually given to enable this work to be done, so it's, um, it's very good to have come to this point. Um, and good also that um, even in the middle of February we're actually able, able to be outside and to do it. So. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, this is a happy day as we meet to bless the restored clock at Holy Cross and have the opportunity in this celebration to praise God's name. Clocks have a special place in the life of God's people and the life of the local community. The chiming of the hours reminds us of the hours of prayer and work and particularly calls us to the celebration of the Eucharist. It reminds us also of the church and its place as a focal point in the community. Later, Jesus appeared to the eleven disciples themselves as they were sitting at the table, and he upbraided them for their lack of faith and stubbornness, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation, the one who believes and is baptized will be saved, but the one who does not believe will be condemned. And they went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that accompanied it. Here let, ends the reading. Let us now ask God's blessing on the restored clock. So whenever people hear the chiming of the hours, they will remember that they are one family and that God will now bring us together to show our unity in Christ and our commitment to spread his gospel message. With silver trumpets, Moses summoned Israel to gather as your people. Now you are pleased that in the church, the sound of a chiming clock should summon your people to prayer. By your blessing, accept this restoration to your service. May the sound of the clock chimes direct our hearts towards you and prompt us to come gladly to this church, there to experience the presence of Christ. This we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we are so not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Remember, O Lord, all you have brought in us, and not what we deserve. And as you have called us to your service, make us worthy of our calling, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all.